Hey YouTube, it's Marita from The Nurse Lounge and today it is time to do my monthly uh, beauty makeup haul. So every month I will come to you and do a collective haul of everything I've purchased over the month um, from various stores and it is time to do that. I actually did a um, the holiday event for Sephora back at the beginning of the month and so that is not going to be included in this video. I will tag that video to this one so that you can see what I picked up then. But this video is everything else that I've picked up since last month besides that event. This includes Black Friday purchases. So today is uh, November 29th, I want to say. I don't know what day it is. Anyway, just know that I have went Black Friday shopping at Sephora. Nothing was too much on sale. I do have some things coming in from online. But for the most part, let's go ahead and jump right on in for the things I picked up. I do have two bags of Sephora right behind me, in addition to this box that I picked up uh, of different things uh, along the way for the month. So if you want to see what I picked up this month, definitely stay tuned. All right, so we are back. My name is Dr. Marita P. We're going to do my monthly uh, beauty haul, makeup beauty haul. So these are things I picked up. I'm going to start first with this product right here. This is Freeman's, um, what is it called? Indonesian Coconut Face Scrub Exfoliating Scrub, Gently Poshes Skin for a Smooth Complexion. I actually picked this up at Five Below. So this one right here was only $4 at Five Below. I picked it up and I am using it to exfoliate, to do my scrubs, um, usually about once or twice a week. And I would have to say it's working. $4 is definitely worth the investment. Five Below, go check out your local Five Below and see if you can see all the Freeman products that you can find. They had various ones there. I just picked up this one just because I want to try something new. As you all know, I have plenty of makeup and beauty products I just want to try this one. So very, very good. I like it so far. The next thing I'm going to show you is from Fenty. So I picked up the Fenty, some Fenty products right here. And this is a repurchase for me. I picked this up. This is the Fenty. Um, this is nothing new. I already used the first month and, or actually for two months. And this is basically just the Fenty what a uh, total cleanser right here so i picked up the total cleanser another one of these i picked up another one of the um hydrovisor moisturizers so this has your spf in it this is spf of 30 yeah spf 30 so i picked that up as well and then in addition to that i got a free um mademoiselle plush matte lipstick and I picked up the shade Flamingo Acid. So this is what I picked up. Um, this was free with the purchase of I think so many dollars that I spent. So this is what I picked up this month. These products right here are part of my monthly favorites or my favorite things that I typically buy. I definitely love this these products right here. Um, this is my second time picking these up so um, I do not want to run out of this. I love it. The next thing I have is this box full of goodies right here so basically what i've done is every time i pick something up i just throw it in this box. this is just my collective box from different things i bought from tj maxx from ulta from different places so i picked up from tj maxx and i've actually started using it is this ole Hirenson counterbalance mattifying moisture cream I've used a lot of these products and I can tell you that this I do like this has no SPF in it so this is something I use mainly at night but I have oily skin and being that I do have oily skin but we are now approaching um, winter so my skin tends to dry out in the winter time so I do like this product and we'll be using it but I'm definitely now reaching for some more so of my hydrating moisturizers because of the fact that my skin is very very dry this time of the year book products i only spent 12.99 at marshall's like i was at marshall's another thing i picked up at marshall's was the nars um blush right here for 12.99 and i picked up the shade lovejoy and they had these at i think tj maxx as well and so i found this at my local marshall's and i love it you know i have been wearing it already i do not have it on today but i have been wearing it and it is a pretty color this is what it looks like right here very pretty color and i'm not really much into blushes in general but i do happen to like to get into blush from time to time and when i do this is kind of a shade that i will wear 
So this is Love Joy again. This only costs twelve ninety nine. Great steal. I love that Marshalls and um, TJ Maxx are actually having these products, so we can try these products at a cheaper value instead of paying full price for these items. Something else I picked up at I want to say TJ Maxx was this for five ninety nine was this Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer in the color Honey. So this will be great for an under eye. This is what it looks like right here. Great for an under eye, under my eyes, shade Honey, um, right up my alley. Definitely something I would love to try for $5.99 especially. You can't go wrong with that. Something else I picked up from the TJ Maxx was the Anastasia Bronzing Powder. And I picked up the shade Cappuccino. And we will see, you know, I picked this up. Actually, I picked it up, picked one of these up back when um, it first came out at Sephora, but I didn't pick the right shade. So I took it back and because I had so many bronzers, I did not repurchase anything. But this time I decided that I would definitely, since the price was only $12.99 or no, $10.99, that I would definitely go ahead and try to pick up this shade right here, which again is Cappuccino. And we will see. We will see how it how it matches up for my skin. I'm actually wearing Charlotte Tilbury right now. I think number three, I think is what I have on right now. But um, this right here is definitely something worth only $10. So like, don't, don't def definitely don't sleep on your TJ Maxx and Marshalls when it comes to their products in the makeup section. All right, I also picked up from Ulta. Um, I restocked on the Stay Naked, the weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear. I am in the shade 70 in in. I definitely, this is my third time purchasing this. I definitely love this foundation. It is my go-to. It, it, I'm not a natural, if the color is natural or neutral, um, uh, undertone neutral, more of a golden, but this one actually matches me perfectly. And I am loving this one. So again, this is my third one. I have not finished my second one, but I could not be without my Urban Decay. This right here is KK, KK Beauty uh, Lip Liner. I have been on the hunt to get new three lip liner for the longest, and they always stay out of stock at my local Ulta. So I decided to pick it up online. So this is nothing new. I went to go pick it up again just the other day, and guess what? They're sold out again. So... I definitely need to pick up some more when I do get a chance and see them in stock, but I picked up just one just to see because everybody had been raving about the KK uh, W Beauty lip liner in uh, Nude 3. So we're going to see if I like this one or not, but hopefully if so, I'm going to definitely go pick up some more. Something else I picked up on Amazon, believe it or not, was the Essence Cosmetics Lashes, or not lashes, um, lash mascara, lash princess mascara. And it had three different ones. I have this one right here and I actually have this one on right now. This one right here in the middle. But I do love this brand. This right here I think cost me maybe $12 for all three of these on Amazon.com. So definitely, definitely, definitely if you like this brand. This right here, after I get through some of my mascaras, because I'm a mascara connoisseur, I love mascara. Once I get through my mascaras, I'm deciding, I think this is going to be one of my main go-to brands right here because this right here does exactly what I need to do for a fraction of the price. There's no need to spend $30 on a mascara that does, not even does what this does. So I picked up three, just different, three different kinds and see if I like these, these other two or not. This one I definitely do like. I actually keep this one in my purse as we speak. Something else I picked up from Sephora was a standalone purchase was this Pat McGrath lipstick. This is the Fetish 3 right here and I have been wearing this lipstick out um so this is what it looks like right here it is a very pretty terracotta kind of color when it's on my lips anyway very very pretty I have worn this and worn this and worn this and worn this and worn this I love this um lipstick Pat McGrath for, for Cyber Monday is having $12 lipsticks so by the time you see this video, obviously that may or may not be over, but $12 lipsticks from Pat McGrath. So I ordered another one of these and various other shades as well. $12 for a $38 lipstick is a steal. So there's that. I also picked up from Fenty. Fenty was having a 30% off sale or some kind of sale they were having. So I picked up the um, Snap Shadows number nine. This is the one that's Wine, Nine Wine. So I picked this up because I definitely love uh, 
Fenty Beauty. I love Rihanna. Um, I love a lot of her products. I don't like everything. I do not really care for her foundation, believe it or not. Um, just because I couldn't find the exact match of my skin tone. There's so many to choose from, but I don't believe in buying two or three um, foundations just to get my shade. If I can't find it in one, I don't want it. Um, so then here is what it looks like right here. And again, this was on sale. So they're regularly, I want to say $25 a piece, but I think I got it for like 18 or I got it cheaper. So that's what this one looks like right here. I love this one. Haven't used it yet, but I plan on definitely using it. This is the one I wanted of the two new ones. I didn't care for the one money, the green one, the one that has greens and golds in it. I didn't really care for that one, but I definitely liked that. I picked up some things from Minimo. If you know, Minimo is a black owned brand and they do facial or skincare, facial skincare products. So I picked up this Minimo Radiant daily brightening daily face moisturizer with turmeric bearberry and licorice in it and so i haven't used it yet but i'm looking forward to using it they also have a watermelon under eye cream that i'm going to definitely use um and i picked up another vitamin c drops so this if you watch my channel of any of my favorites you know minimo is a brand that i definitely definitely love and i pick this up all the time when they have a sale um, for the Black Friday, I did not pick any up for Black Friday because I have so much already on hand. But I definitely love this. Now, let's go to the Sephora. Things I picked up from Sephora for the Black Friday. I wouldn't call it an event because nothing was really on sale. I did have, actually, I had some Pat McGrath that was on sale that I ordered online. That I ordered online. That will not be here, and so we'll have to go into december's monthly haul so let's start with this bag right here i picked this up from sephora yesterday on black friday i actually went to our outlet mall we have a standalone sephora in our outlet mall and i wanted to mainly get some scents and some lipsticks and so i got some scents lipsticks and some uh skincare products so those are the things that i picked up in this one now these two scents i'm if you know watch my channel you know i'm a registered nurse and in the hospital setting we typically cannot wear a lot of um or any really perfumes and scented lotions and things like that or we shouldn't be because it can be offensive to patients so i hadn't been buying any of those kind of products but now that i'm off away from bedside i have now indulged in perfume so I always buy the smaller ones and see if I like them for a period of time before I invest in the larger ones. But these two right here. So this one is called Julia Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. That's what this one's called right here. Julia Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. And I love this one. I love vanilla E kind of scents. And I put this on in the store and could not get enough of it. Um, I did get the spray bottle. It comes like packaged just like this right here. I got the spray bottle. $28 for this right here. It has, it says, this is where vanilla and sea salt come together. So vanilla, sea salt, um, sandalwood. It has a woodsy smell, but it has that vanilla woodsy smell. I love this one. So this one, again, is Julia has a gun and it's called um, Vanilla Vibes. If you like vanilla and you like sea salt and you can handle a little bit of the sandalwood, you would love this scent. And so this right here, I definitely would be buying a larger bottle of this. It costs, I want to say $100 for one bottle and $135 for another size. But I will be getting it um, next month. So you will see that probably in next month's uh, monthly favorite or monthly haul. And then the other one is by Clean Reserve. It is called the Radiant Nectar. I would have never, and I mean never, thought that I would... I would have never thought that I would like a nectar scent. Uh, just the sound of nectar and citrus doesn't do me any good. However, uh, I have, where is it at? I have the Clean Reserve right here, the bigger bottle of the skin. This one, oh my gosh, I love this one. This one is what I wear almost every day. I did buy this size initially of this of this one. But I have since emptied this size and bought this one. This one cost $98 for this. So I plan on buying the larger size of this one as well for about the same price. This is again, Radiant Nectar and Spray. 
I actually put this one on today. It smells great. $28 as well for this, this one. And I definitely recommend that you either get you the small size and keep it with you for travel, which is great for traveling, um, and then have a larger size on hand. But these two right here will be my next investments. This will be like 200 and something dollars together for the larger size. I picked up um, Glow, Recipe, uh, Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. And I'm really getting into the Glow Recipe products. I did use it last night and definitely enjoyed um, the experience of what it felt like. This is what the bottle looks like right here. And it is, it is very much moisturizing and it doesn't, it smells a little bit like bananas, but I like this. I like this a lot. I only used it once because I just picked it up yesterday, but cruelty free, vegan, if that's something that you're into. I also picked up, because I saw on a lot of people's channels, that they have been picking up this Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Cleansing Balm. Makeup melting and smoothing. So I picked this up because I had saw, I think Brandy Giz, um, maybe talk about this. I haven't opened it yet. All right, so I'm definitely interested in trying this out to, to take off my makeup. Um, I definitely have another cleansing balm that I'm using right now by Minimo. But again, I definitely want to try this product right here. So we will see what this does for my skin in terms of makeup removal. Um, and then of course, like I said, I, if, if anybody watched my channel, you know that I'm more so into skincare than I am. I love makeup. I adore makeup. However, you cannot have good makeup application if you don't have good skincare. You have to have a, you have to have a great canvas to put your makeup on. So I definitely, definitely want to invest in my skincare. YSL. So YSL has this new um, luminous matte lipstick. It's called the Slim Glow Matte. This is what the packaging looks like right here. And I picked up two more. I have maybe about five of these now. They cost $39 a piece. So they are pricey. So that's definitely a splurge. Um, but I definitely love the packaging. If you look at this right here, this is what the packaging looks like. And this shade right here is called Secret Rosewood. And it's more of a brick red color right here. So I definitely like that one. And then, and I like this square, you know how this, this shape of this applicator in terms of how the it comes out. I love this. And then the other one that I picked up yesterday is called Ambiguous ambiguous chestnut so this one is a brown shade a deep almost chocolate shade um and i wanted something that was a little darker for this time of the year and that's what this one is more of a chocolate i guess that's what this one looks like so it's definitely definitely something i am looking forward to trying out i do think i have five of these now and i it was up to me i would definitely try to get the entire set um Maybe not the entire set because I didn't see everything I like. But I definitely will be purchasing more of these. Every month I'll probably have two or three more of these right here. Because I love this YSL matte lipstick. All right. So now we are going to our last Sephora bag right here. And I picked up four items. Um, I went to two different Sephora's yesterday. And I picked up four items from the other one. This one was I saw was a recommendation from um, someone here on YouTube. It is the UFO uh, Ultra Clarifying Acne Treatment Face Oil by Sunday Riley. It costs $40 for this. And how you get it out is you basically just pull it down as such. And the product is right there. So this is what it looks like right here. And it is a dry oil. So basically, I have acne as a result of these masks. Sometimes it's hormonal, but mostly because of the mask, I'm having acne issues right, you can actually see the one right here, right here, but right through here, I'm having a lot of issues due to the mask of acne. And so I tried this last night for the very first time. And I have to say, I didn't put my whole, I didn't put it on my whole face, but I definitely concentrated on the areas in which I'm having issues with breakouts um so and i have to say this morning it was it it had shrunk the the it literally had shrunk in size um this morning when i got up to wash my face 
So I used this last night for the first time. You can use this AM or PM. I did not use it this morning, but I definitely will use this on a daily basis, especially to treat those specific areas that I have that, um, those flare ups. That is something I just cannot stand to have, you know, all this acne. Um, again, is due to the mask. This right here by Smashbox is the Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. I saw this on somebody's channel and I'm all about glowing. You know that already. I love to glow. So I just picked this up right here. Um, this is what it looks like. And I did use it today before I put this makeup on. And right now I couldn't tell you if it did anything or not. But it claims to revitalize and brighten. Um, it's a water gel primer. It said it instantly hydrates, softens, and nourishes for all skin types. So you can wear it alone or you can actually wear it under makeup, obviously. And that's what I did. Two more products and then we are done for this month. Fenty Beauty has come up with what's called a diamond bomb. It's an all-over diamond veil right here. And I picked up the shade, or I don't know if it's a shade, but called Rose Rave, Rose, Rose Rave, something like that. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. When I saw this on Sephora's website, I'm like, I knew I had to have it. The packaging is gorgeous. It has this glitter effect on here. And so you open it up and it has this right here. I'm not going to blind you with that, but it has this right here. It is gorgeous. And I could definitely see me using it right through here as in highlight. It's all over, so you can use it anywhere you want to put on your decollete if you want to do that. But for me, I definitely could see me using it as a highlight, definitely on my nose, certain areas on my face, and it's just gorgeous. The last thing I picked up, plus this this pretty, I guess I want to call it rose gold packaging, pinkish rose gold cap packaging, is my favorite. I love it. Then the next thing or the last thing I have in this particular haul is i had to pick it up everybody else had it so i had to get it this is the naughty huda beauty makeup palette and we will see if i like this you know i i, I mean makeup eyeshadow palette not makeup palette eyeshadow palette i love eyeshadow i love 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 pat mcgrath though right now is my leading favorite when it comes to eyeshadows however i wanted to try this product and see if it's something that i would like the cool the color story looked very unique to me You've seen this before, but the color story was very unique. And so therefore I just knew I had to try this right here. I just had to try it. I'm interested to see what this one right here does. I'm like, what is this? It says a slip, it's called slippery. What do I do with it? You know, what, what do you do with this? So that one I'm interested to find out about, but I'm also interested to see what these shades like this one and that one and this one do in terms of, and this one right here, in terms of how it applies and what the color outcome is going to be so i'm definitely interested in that so anyway that concludes this was a kind of a lengthy one but this concludes my monthly um makeup and beauty haul i love makeup and beauty as you all know i will continue to do these hauls also i am planning um now that i am not working as much right now i'm definitely planning on to bring you more content in terms of hopefully to have at least three to four videos per week now it will be of course, mainly nursing, but I will definitely jump back into some of my other um, series as well as we are uh, going through the fall and winter months. If you follow me because you happen to like my nursing content, please definitely follow me on IG. Um, my handle will be somewhere here on the page if you want to follow that. I will definitely be continuing my series on my, uh, narcissistic, my narcissistic marriage on my road to recovery that is still going to be going on in the videos coming so if you happen to want to see what's going on with that aspect of my life that will be there as well of course more nursing content per usual and until the next time you all take care bye bye